Welcome back to our channel. Your destination for defense, technology, and innovation updates. If you're passionate about military advancements and cutting-edge technology, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for regular updates. In today's video, we'll uncover the exciting possibility of India acquiring Russia's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the Sukhoi Su-57. Is this the game-changer India needs to dominate the skies? Let's dive in. Introduction to the Sukhoi Su-57 The Sukhoi Su-57 is Russia's premier fifth-generation stealth fighter, designed to deliver air superiority and precision ground strikes. With advanced stealth capabilities, supersonic cruising speeds, and a lethal arsenal, this jet is built to dominate the battlefield. But what makes it truly stand out? Let's take a closer look. Key features of the Su-57 Stealth technology, designed with a low radar cross-section, making it nearly invisible to enemy radars. Supercruise, capable of sustained supersonic speeds without afterburners. Advanced avionics, includes AI-assisted targeting, electronic warfare systems, and integrated sensors. Weapons arsenal, equipped with long-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided bombs, and a 30mm autocannon. Why India needs the Su-57? With neighbors like China operating advanced J-20 stealth fighters and Pakistan's growing military collaboration with China, India's air dominance is crucial. The Su-57 could fill the gap as India seeks to modernize its air fleet and stay ahead in the region's evolving security dynamics. Benefits for India Cost-effective, the Su-57 offers cutting-edge technology at a fraction of the cost of Western counterparts like the F-35. Operational synergy, India's familiarity with Russian aircraft like the Su-30 MKI ensures smoother integration. Potential for customization, Russia is open to tailoring the jet for Indian needs, including integrating indigenous systems. Challenges to consider. However, it's not all smooth flying. The Su-57 program has faced development delays and limited operational experience. Plus, global sanctions on Russia could impact maintenance and spare parts availability. India must carefully weigh these factors before sealing the deal. What's next? Reports suggest that India and Russia are in advanced discussions for a potential government-to-government -government agreement. This could involve an initial batch of Su-57s, followed by local production under the Make in India initiative. If India finalizes this acquisition, it could redefine the nation's air combat capabilities, bolstering its defense against regional threats. But the decision comes with challenges that need careful evaluation. What do you think? Should India invest in the Su-57 or explore other options? India's need for a fifth-generation fighter. India's security landscape demands cutting-edge air power. Here's why. China's modernization, China operates the J-20 and is developing the fc 31 stealth fighters. Pakistan's collaboration with China, Pakistan could gain access to advanced Chinese aircraft, creating a two-front threat. Aging fleet, India's reliance on fourth-generation jets like the Mirage 2000 and MiG-29 limits its ability to counter stealth-capable adversaries. Why the Su-57 is a strong contender India's interest in the Su-57 is driven by several factors. Affordability, the Su-57 is significantly cheaper than the Fu-35, with an estimated cost of $40 to $50 million per unit. Operational compatibility, the Indian Air Force already operates Russian platforms like the Su-30 MKI, making the transition easier. Technology sharing, Russia has shown a willingness to share technology and allow for customization, aligning with India's a Make in India initiative. Multi-role capability, the Su-57 is equally effective in air superiority and precision strike missions. Potential challenges with the Su-57 while the Su-57 is promising, there are challenges to consider. Development issues, the Su-57 program faced delays and funding constraints, with only a limited number in Russian service. Logistical dependence, maintaining a Russian-made aircraft amidst geopolitical sanctions could pose challenges. Limited stealth performance, some experts believe its stealth capabilities lag behind competitors like the F-35. Operational readiness, 
India needs to ensure that the Su-57 meets its stringent requirements before committing. India's approach, joint production and customization. Reports suggest that India may pursue a government-to-government deal involving initial acquisition, procuring a limited number of fully operational Su-57s for evaluation. Transfer of technology, negotiating for technology sharing to build future variants in India. Indigenous upgrades, integrating Indian-made systems like the Astra missile or Uttam AESA radar. Strategic impact of acquiring the Su-57. If India finalizes the Su-57 acquisition, the impact could be profound. Enhanced deterrence, strengthening India's ability to counter China and Pakistan. Booster local manufacturing, creating jobs and advancing India's aerospace sector under a make in India. Deepening India-Russia relations, reinforcing long-standing defense ties amid shifting global alliances. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more updates on defense and technology. See you in the next video.